We're Brett and Maria, and we are your Daily Wild Team. We want to show you what we've been building. A luxury tiny home on wheels for full-time living and travelling. So come on inside and see what we've done. Hey guys, uh, just a little update of where we are so far. We haven't been around for a while now. I've been away at a um, rehab course for an injury that I've got. Um, and Maria's been working like an absolute trooper to save up for some stuff that we're doing because we're actually going to be buying a house um, up in Scotland, which is going to be amazing for us. And um, we're going to be renovating that. But um, a lot of things have changed, as you've seen on Instagram, if you follow us on Instagram. Um, a lot of things have changed. So basically, I got back and I started working on the van and I did a load of stuff that allow us to live in it if we needed to live in it right now. I'm just going to turn the gas on for a sec. Pull me back out. There we go. Um, let me take your shoes off and I'll get in the van. Actually, I'll show you the van on the way in, okay? So we've done the floor, we've done the trim, we spray painted all the plastic boxing around the edge. We're just painting all the trims right now to go back in. Done all the epoxy tops, we've done all the kitchen fronts, we've done the worktop that's in now. I've got to attach it in on the inside, um, which is going to be a nightmare because of the angles and the way it is. We've got little L brackets to attach that in with. I'll just show you instead of talking a load of shit. So I'll turn you around. Let's have a look. So this is our entrance. All the black plastic trim has been cleaned up and put spray painted back to its original color. Um, we put the flooring in, trimmed it off with this lovely gold trim. A bit dirty at the moment because it's been in and out. Underneath here is where the Bunny Kingdom's going. It's been floored. It's also been ply sided. There are cables still on show, but they are not accessible for, by the bunnies when they're in there. All the trimming around the bookshelf has been done. Around the sides. Take my shoes off. My horrible feet. And then I'll step into the van. I'll turn the power on quickly for you guys. And as you can see, a hell of a lot of difference to what it looked like last time. And an incredible amount of things have happened in this van. Um, I'll send you this way. Our epoxy worktop is in. Um, my God, it looks incredible. We turn some lights on so you can see. Kitchen lights are now on. We have a hob and we're so happy with it. Look at that, straight away it works. Off the beat, nice and powerful. Smeg, gas hob top. And we also have a full-sized gas oven. Um, so this is a household gas oven. Just kind of get the gas going in there. There we go. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to get set right. But here we go. Look at that. All lit up inside, ready to get going. It's a nice hot cooked meal. Underneath here is the oven storage. I've still got to put the sides in there and then the flooring in that, paint them and put them in. Every, everything in this van is on quick release clickers. So let me just put that back and turn that off. Everything's on quick release clickers. So this door quick release clicker these are the bits in there to our water and our heater and everything like that it's got to be hoovered out shelves put back in backings put back in and then at the bottom bit put back in <coughs> the main piece of this that i'm absolutely in love with and it's worked perfectly is this worktop we have epoxied a piece of wood for the first time in our lives and for the first time in our lives it went well Something went well, look at this. So there's a massive hole going all the way through there. I'm gonna put a tiny little LED in there so it lights up, which would be beautiful. Um, you see the real live grain in there. Um, it's all closed off to the side of the tile work. This little tile ledge here, I have a trim over the top of it and it's where all our coffee mugs will sit. Um, we have our oven socket, which was moved across because before someone mentioned if it was behind here, it would cause a problem. 
So we uh, we consulted our electrician, we asked him a couple of questions, he said, yeah, move that across and get it into the centre. Here's where our coffee machine will go, our smeg coffee machine, and it will sit plugged into this, and we'll have two plugs left over for like our um, blender and all of that sort of stuff. Let me put you over here. Um, this tap just pulls out, it has two modes, it has a, it's like a direct mode and then it has a spray mode. Um, and it's really good and you can lock it off, you can close it off and all that good stuff. It all comes through the bottom here. Um, the sink itself has a cover. sat under some cardboard boxes to keep it safe. It's a bit white. Maria wouldn't like it if it was dirty. So this sits over the sink like so. So that is what the kitchen looks like in travel mode. And then when we're out and we've got everything in and everything sorted, I'm going to put this lovely chopping board here. It's not probably not going to be used for a chopping board. Maria wants to use it for a chopping board, but I don't want to, to be honest. It looks too nice to be used for a chopping board. But it's an extra piece of wood that we can use, even if we have it on the bed with us. We can have a glass of wine on there or whatever. Um, take it outside, put it on a um, fold-out like X-frame that holds it. Um, we can use it anywhere, multi-use. So this actually wasn't wide enough to fit to the back. So what we did is we epoxied another piece of wood, the same wood here, but it's an offcut from a different bit and then we've actually added it in here. This is gonna have a tile set over the top of it, one of these tiles, so that when the smeg's on there, it can sit on top of the tile, it's really pretty. Maria wanted that. Um, yeah, so that's the kitchen in all its might, with our Montpellier fridge and our nice oven and our lights and our push. Push to open. <laughs> tops they still need adjusting a little bit they shouldn't be like that yet at the moment and then number three they all opened up nicely and they've all been painted gold inside so all the edges that you see around the tiles they have been clear siliconed and they will be getting a little wood trim all the way around the edge in gold um, and that wood trim is basically like a small white d shape with a triangle on the back that sits perfectly into the groove um, it'll happen again at the back here and down the side of here. Let me just close all these up for you. We've just insured the van and we used a company called Just Campers and they insure your van even if you're not a registered camper van. Um, and it allows you to be insured as a motorhome if it's like a motorhome in build, a motorhome that's completed, um, anything. It's got loads of different categories and we use them. So I, I, I can recommend them to you guys. I'm not getting promotion for this or anything like that. It's, it's just really good, really good prices, competitive prices, and they'll find you the best thing. You can get 360 days of the year travel in the EU. And you can also, we've, we, we've opted for the 180 because we've got a lot of things on this year. Um, as I'm getting out of the army, um, we've got a lot of things to do. Um, so traveling around isn't going to be priority straight away but it will be something we do uh, definitely down the line um right moving on to my favorite part to be honest is the day bed um we've got these lovely laura ashley lights um they're incredible um i think we got these at a really ridiculously cheap price because it was part of the closing down sale at laura ashley um so we got them they look beautiful we wanted to go in this in this van like it was a home, like it looked like you were walking into a house or some sort of a house. And it has started to look like that. We have framed the windows like real house frames um, inside and around the edge. And then we've made the windowsill out of the same wood that the kitchen is made out of. We've done that on the edging of all the day bed and everything else. Um, so yeah, it's starting to look really really pretty i can't believe how it's turning out um there's a couple of little bits i found out that when we open and slam the door it cracks this has cracked ever so slightly down here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reinforce that with a side of uh, with a side of nails all the way up to the top um so it should look good there's maria's mum coming back from the shops say hello Mar say hello hill hello. <laughs> she's just come back from the shops um and then under here if you haven't seen it already 
is our little USB roundy. And this is USBs right next to where the day bed will come up. So it'll come up from here and we'll be able to sit with all our things charging from the side of us whilst we're sat eating a meal or whatever. We can have things charging. We can plug in a little USB light for reading if we want it lighter. Um, but yeah, it all starting to come together and we're really freaking happy with it. Like, I mean, unbelievably happy. Got to get some more wood trim from around the edges of here. There's a white piece of wood to go in there. This is all windborne white, the same as the roof. But this windborne white has had, um, sorry about the flashing. This windborne white has had, um, it's really bugging me. This windborne white has had like a gloss coat over the top, the same as all the window sills, all the window ledges, the same as the roof window. Um, they've all been trimmed up nicely. Now this bit here is gonna have another piece of wood that trims inside there and that'll like seal it off. It'll look completely, completely sealed. It'll look insane. Um, I can't wait to put that in. I've got a couple of bits to do today with regards to the trim. Um, this is our closet. I um, don't know if you can see that. I'll sit down. Up the top there is like a laundry area. So for all of our, uh, well not laundry, for all of our clean bedding and linen and stuff like that, that'll go up the top. In the back of here is a double switch that needs to be fitted with a, it's like a, it's like an invisible switch. Um, it's not an invisible switch. So basically the wallpaper sits inside this little plastic cover and goes onto the plugs, which is beautiful. And it will, it will pretty much turn out invisible. Um, then we have some drawers fitted. I need to move them across because of the way this door sitting sitting now. It needs to become to this side instead of that side. Um, all wall paved on the inside, the same as the bedroom. Now let me just turn on the switches from our fuse box. Turn them all on because everything's plugged in now, except from the bedroom switch over there for the TV. Um, I'm going to turn on these two lights we have a lovely teal fabric headboard and that will sit behind the mattress um, a fully wallpapered wall on the inside of the bedroom uh, lovely side shelves and cabinets for in the bedroom with a top bit there for all our speakers and our, some books and some stuff there we finished off the roof transition into the walls with a lovely OG trim, which is the same as, as you probably heard us in the previous videos, OG. <laughs> but that's the trim that we've used for the edging on this. Um, and that really complements the, the roof to the wall transition. It's really nice. We're happy with that. All the main lights went on. Can go off of that and that switch there. So there's two switches. So one switch for the main lights, and then one switch for the mood lights. Um, these switches are also two ganged up to here, where there's two switches here. So I'm just going to stand here and do the switchings for that. So that's for the main cab lights, cabin lights, and that is for the nice like underfloor lighting and the bookshelf lighting. These are all things that we wanted. We want this to be easy. Now, I think you all know what else we've done in this van and that is control it by alexa turn off all the lights how cool is that so the back lights aren't connected to the wi-fi at the moment because they're too far away from the house but these ones have just managed to connect um alexa turn on kitchen alexa turn on day bed and then you've got the shower there as well, and then the bedroom. So it's Maria and Brett. We've got our own name for each of our lights, and they'll turn on as per what we say to Alexa. Turn off all the lights. So we're really happy with this, and I hope you guys um, have seen how much work we've put into this. We have a very, very big bit of information coming soon. I'm going to sit down here so you guys can talk to me, like, real life. Um... We've got a lot of information coming up soon and it's a very big, big project we're going to be working on. Um, not a lot of people understand um, how much effort goes into making a motorhome and congratulations to all you companies out there.
that have created motorhomes and turned them into lovely homes for people to live in, travel in or use for holidays, well done. <laughs> it's a graft if you're doing it like this. If you've got a workshop, lucky you. Um, we've managed to do all of this without a workshop. So the next thing we want to do, once we've sorted the house, is get a workshop. I'm not going to go into it too much, but there is a lot of good stuff coming soon. Keep an eye out on our Instagram and our YouTube for some information on it. Um, I'm just sort of putting the business plan together. I'm uh, putting together a um, GoFundMe page. Um, it's not for me. And you'll understand when you see what's coming out. Um, but it's very important that I do this because I've served in the army for a very long time and I've, I've just been medically discharged. And there's a lot of other guys out there like that. Let's just say it's along those lines. Um, so it'd be nice if you guys could back us on this, if you could um, help us with this transition. Um, we will be putting it up on our Instagram and that, like I've said, so you will find out soon what it's about. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd spiel about that for a little sec. There will be more details coming soon, but let's move on with the rest of the van. Um, the drawers, yeah, the drawers. The drawers have got little handles on them and they are push closed, so they come out. And there's the storage for me, because it's obviously the smallest one. And Maria's is on the bottom. And then you just push this back. And it soft closes. <laughs> okay, let me do that again because I look like a fool. Okay, maybe not. Let me, there we go. Right, and then one down here, which is Maria's. Maria's is a full length drawer, so this is um, a meter and a half in depth, this drawer, so it goes all the way back. Um, same as mine, mine's about a meter, she's got the extra half a meter. So loads of storage inside, and for you that are following and have been following, there you go, and you that have been following, you know that um, on the roof, you can see sort of here the roof box made out of aluminium extrude i've got to complete the decking supports for that part of the roof box um there are main support beams going through here and here and here and here on the inside of the van which allows us to put pressure and weight down onto these pieces of metal if you can see the beams here um this is another area that we're going to use for storage now a lot of you are saying hey how much weight is it this that and the other and yeah it's it's a chunky amount of weight but uh, i need you guys to remember we've only used either very thin ply for frontage um so like the kitchen front is made out of an eight mil yeah eight mil ply on frame there's no backing pieces and there's no side pieces it's all ventilated back there because we've got an oven we've got a, a fridge we've got the hob here it all gets warm and it has to ventilate and the ventilation goes out of a tiny little vent at the back so all the pieces that we've added the into this van the heaviest pieces we've added are the tiles the uh, and the framework for the bed area that's pretty much the heaviest parts um and that's well within load um i mean this is a three and a half ton van um like from its get-go so we're in talks with a company at the moment um they're connected to Ive iveco is uh sv tech uh, i think you guys probably know about them now sv tech can't directly uprate your van's payload um for if it's an iveco so what you have to do is go through Iveco and show them specifics and then they tell you what you have to do to be able to get it uprated to the certain level of weight. So we're going to be in contact with them and sort some stuff out. Um, it's looking like a heavy, heavy duty leaf springs to be put on and then we can upgrade to four ton. Um, we don't know yet what the specifics are. We're just waiting on a reply. We haven't based our build on getting uprated because we know we're within it, within the payload. Um, we haven't gone stupid on weight like we've we stripped out all of our heavy wood on the on the front we've changed it for upvc we stripped out all the heavy wood on the back doors stripped it out for upvc um cladding we've used aluminium extrude on the top which is like three mil four mil 
thick. And then we've got the aluminium composite. No, we've got the 30mm aluminium extrude. And then the, and the, and then the eight, 3 mil, 4 mil uh, composite, which is all held together. Literally, the whole frame and all the metal on it, I could, I could shoulder press if I wanted to. It's not heavy at all. It's probably about 150, maybe 200 kilos. It's fuck all. Um, for the size of it as well. Um, the only other things on there are the solar panels and they weigh, I think it's like 15 kilos, maybe 30 kilos for the two front ones and then the back two are like 15 kilos. They are really light compared to like um, every, every other vans that I've seen and they use loads and loads and loads of plywood. We've not done that. We've just stripped out all plywood and gone for a basic timber build with ply fronts, which covers it and it makes it look pretty. Nice and neat on the front. Um, so yeah, we're not worried about weight. We're happy with the design. We have rejigged this thing probably about a hundred times. Sorry, not my plumb intake. Um, rejigged about a hundred times because we haven't been happy with certain aspects of it, like the door going into the cab. So have a look here. That door going into the cab is pretty big, but that's good enough size for someone to sit in there. It's an extra seat. And it also allows us to get in and out of the cab with ease. It's pretty seamless, to be honest, with regards to like transition between the door and the sidewall. Um, the top bit up there, seamless, nice and light. UPVC on a tiny bit, on a like eight mil ply, but it's thick enough because it's got support bars in the back of each one. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really happy with our weight. We're really happy with the bits and bobs we've done, except from this bit. The door was a pain in the ass. Um, we had like sliding concertina doors. We, had a, we wanted to go for a door that lifted up and hooked on. There was loads of stuff that we went through, but then this was the final product and I wouldn't change it for the world. On the other side of that in the cab, cab's a bit of a mess. Um, that's all, um, it's got like a gray flooring as the backing. It's the same grey flooring as we have in the back of the van, which I'll take you around to now. That grey flooring that we've put in the front of the van is currently off because we've had to... So here's the back of the seat. Had to wire all the lights in at the back. So I'm going to put the rest of that insulation into there. And then the across the front of that will be this nice grey um, flooring. At the top of it, so when we've... Yeah, so that's just a gold handle that opens up. And then this one just opens up. This is all going to be fabric lined with the fabric that we've got from the front. We have the nice panel all the way across here. That shelf needs to go back up onto here. Um, this is all going to be panelled out. We're going to have a pantry in here. So this left side is going to be all shelves. The front of it is going to be ba base storage. And then the right side of here is going to be pull out drawers that come all the way across. And we're like, well, not pull out drawers, but one big pull out unit that just like slides all the way across to here, which will meet these drawers, which allow us to gain access from that. Um, like gain access and then push it all back in. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to do in here that hasn't been done yet, which will be done. Um, but yeah, the gray um, flooring's in there. It looks really nice, it really neatens it up. And then we've got some gray leather, like crisscross effect um, fabric that's gonna be lining the roof. The roof is gonna be upset. So it's gonna have like a box edge and then it go up and then box and then a flat top with like an LED strip around the inside of the box ledge. Um, so let's take you back to the back doors. Open this bad boy up. I have lost the back plastic door handle. It is amongst all the crap in the van. Um, so yeah, we've done all the window frames all painted with the nice um, windborn white and then a coat of the um, varnish over the top. We've done all the plastic trimming, everything's in, looking smart. There's a couple of little bits we need to titivate with and move around. Door handles all been boxed off. We've put in a double socket at the back here, which needs to be screwed in properly. We've not done that yet. We've bolted all of our things in we've got a couple more bolts to go in because i lost i didn't i ran out of the bolts so i need the bolt covers and screws so i need to screw all of this lot in 
the back of here is our bunny kingdom. Now, if we take the bunny kingdom out, there you go. It's our garage. The garage is huge, and I'm really happy about it. On this right hand side, there's going to be a drawer that pulls out, um, and it will come out with all of this with the scooters in it. So me and Maria are going to have electric scooters each. Um, and that'll sit in there. In the centre here, we'll have a little surprise coming later on in the build, but it's going to be used as a, just a mass storage. On the left here, we're going to have um, all my tools on the shelves, and that's our hose pipe that runs out the side of the van up to 100 metres, so it can fuel, uh, top up water from anywhere. This is a better view of the back of the van and the headboard and all the lights and the lovely wallpaper, the dining room, the kitchen. Alexa. Turn on kitchen. The kitchen. How incredible is that with Alexa? Um, so yeah, we've got a lot here. It's it's coming together. I'm really happy with it. And I've just managed to do this all in one take, which is fucking insane. Because I never thought I could. <laughs> I normally cut this and go back to the start, but I'm going to leave it like this for you guys to watch. Thank you so much for all your following, um, all your likes, comments, and everything on Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe for the um, for the next videos. So click the notification bell, put that on, and come see what this finished thing looks like. It's nearly there. We've got a lot of trim to put in. We've got a lot of extra bits to put in, but when it's done, it's done. And we're going to do a big reveal, and I cannot wait to show you guys when it's done. It is amazing in my eyes. I can't believe we've got this far. We've got three separate rooms. We've got, well, four separate rooms. We've got a shower. We've got a kitchen. We've got a dining room. We've got a bedroom. And we wanted them all to look separate, which we have done. And I am so happy with it. And I'm so happy with the interior design that Maria has come up with. It is incredible work by Maria. She's incredible. She's done so much, bless her, even with all the work that she's doing. Um, so, yeah. Thanks again, guys. Cheers for the follow, like, all of that stuff. Peace.